Callahan, Dr. Foulfinder, and welcome back to part three of our special 10 part series on IrfanView. Now, today I'm going to show you the screen capture ability in IrfanView. Now, if you want something with complex screen capture function, you want to look for something like Snagit. But IrfanView can capture screens, and then you can use the resulting images and manipulate them in IrfanView. So, with IrfanView open, we'll click Options, move down to Capture Screenshot. Now you see we have some options here. We can capture the whole desktop area, just the foreground window, the foreground window with the client area. If we want, we can include the mouse cursor or not. We can save the captured image as a file, and it gives it the default name of capture, day, month, year, hour, minute, second. We can click browse and select the destination directory where our files will be saved. And we can also set the file format we want them saved in. So we'll set that for JPEG. Up here, the capture method, we can set a hotkey, which is Control F11. In this case, we can change that if we like. Or we can set it to be an automatic timer delay and indicate how many seconds. I personally prefer the hotkey, so that's what we'll use. We'll have it bring it up in the main window. We'll have it do the foreground window client area. So now I've got butterscotch.com loaded up in Google Chrome. I'll click Start. There's the lovely Amber Mac looking festive for Christmas. I'll hit the hotkey, Control F11, and there you see is the screen in Irfan View. Now to save it, we can just say File, Save As. We'll just say Amber Festive, and then we can also select what file format we want. Say save and we're all done. So that's capturing screens in Earth and View and that's all there is to it.